Good morning, Nakusa High School. Today is Friday, October 8th. This morning, we are starting with, up with another segment of Same School, New Faces. This time, I sat down with Andre Mangioni, also known by some as the Italian Stallion, for his take on life in America. Hi, I'm Andrea. I'm from Italy. So, how is school in Italy compared to school in America? So, it's so different because in Italy we don't have anything like prom, homecoming, or sports at school. So, I think Italy, um, the school in Italy is so boring, respect the American school. How is life in America compared to life in Italy? So, I see people have more comfort with themselves, uh, respect in Italy, and are more easy with people, yeah. And I see a lot of people have stress in Italy, respect in America. And I think only for um, different mindset. So, where in Italy are you from? So I'm from Milan, the north of Italy, and it's the city of fashion. Milan. Did you play any sports in Italy? Yes, in Italy I played a lot of sports. My last sport it, it was a uh, volleyball, and I love these sports. And before volleyball I played soccer, and in fact in America I play uh, soccer. Okay. If okay. someone here were to go to Italy, is there any place you would recommend? Yeah, so like Milan is the city of fashion and for us uh, visit a lot of shop for this. Or like Rome, because there is a lot of um, beautiful place for art and everything. Or Florence, like it's the city of the art in Italy, Florence. Yeah. As girls, I'm single, please. As you can tell, Andre is enjoying his time here in America. So next time you see Andre, make sure to greet him with a friendly face and say ciao, which is an Italian hello. Now we move on to Brett. Thank you, Monty. Do you enjoy singing for people? Well, then the musical may be the place for you. You may have seen all the posters around the school, so I've gone ahead and interviewed Miss Gildensoff and Mr. Saipu, who is the head roles for the auditioning, to gather more information about the musical. Is anyone allowed to join the auditioning? Anybody in the building, NHS student, can audition for the musical, yes. What times would be the uh, auditions and the actual musical? Uh, the auditions are two weeks uh, away, uh, Monday, October 18th, and Wednesday, October 20th, after school, 3.30 to 6, 10-minute um, time slots, and the sign-up uh, is on the choir door. And for auditions, uh, if you do not want a solo, that's okay. If you really just want the opportunity to be on stage and perform with the cast, but you are not the type of person that wants a main part, we can work with that. If you are interested in a main part, we definitely have several of those. And we're looking for males and females. Uh, we last year had a very tiny musical. Um, this year it will be a little bit bigger, uh, but we really want people who have not considered the musical in the past to come out this year and get involved so that we can start building the musical back up um, to what it was before COVID. What are you really looking forward to the most throughout this musical? What I think we both look forward to is, is the camaraderie and the family dynamic that comes from the musical. Uh, these are in many cases every year these are kids that aren't normally friends they don't have the same group of people that they hang out with and they all come together for for one common goal to put on a, a great production because they love acting and they love singing and so that's what we look forward to is just to watch how everything comes together so well and how excited they are I would agree with Mr. Seifel. I really get excited about seeing everybody get their big moment on stage and seeing a lot of people who are maybe not super involved in other things around the building or um, are kind of shy or whatever it may be, but they come out of their shell and are in the show and on stage and just really excited to be there. That always just makes me really excited. There is the interview of Ms. Gildensoff and Mr. Seipel. As you can see, the musical will be a very fun environment for all students. Even if you are not going to try out for auditions, you should still attend the musical from March 11th through 12th. Now I'm going to bring Richardson with Cross Country. Today for sports, we'll be taking a look at Cross Country. 
So far this season, the team has had seven meets. This week, I interviewed one of the coaches, Miss France, about how the season is going so far. Here's what she had to say. How has the season been going compared to what you expected? So far, it's been pretty good. Um, we started the year when I took over in May with three athletes. And right now we have six, so that's a huge improvement. Um, as far as times go, we've had people dropping like crazy um, from four minutes over the course of a couple races to a couple seconds here and there, but they're working really hard, which is awesome. We're small, but we're mighty. What does a normal practice look like? For us, um, our senior leaders uh, take the kids out and lead them through some active warm-ups, high knees, toe touches, stuff like that, really get our legs ready to rock and roll. Um, and then it kind of depends on the day. If we're going to do a speed workout, we do a warm-up, um, some quick turnover, and then a cool down. We have long runs. Just all really depends on um, the meet that we're kind of training for that week. And how long has it been since Nakusa hosted a meet, and what does it mean to have one? It's been seven years since we've had a home meet, so this is a really big deal for us, um, not only because um, it's been seven years since we've had a home course, but we also get to host conference next year. So this has kind of been us um, testing the waters, helping reestablish what our um, cross-country program looks like, and then getting us ready to host conference and a pre-conference meet next year. So it's definitely the first stage in the building box. Thank you, Ms. France. Like we just heard, we hosted the first meet here in seven years. Hunter Kells took first in the boys' race with a new PR of 1847, as the rest of the team set new personal records as well. The cross-country team has three meets left. If you're interested in watching, they run Saturday, October 16th in Boston. Now on to the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Happy birthday today goes to Juan Torres. Tomorrow is Ms. Kaminsky, and on Sunday it's Caden Pepper. Today we have a varsity football game. On Saturday we have a volleyball varsity quad at Athens on 9 a.m. Cross country invite at Christmas Mountain at 10 a.m. And soccer versus Adams friendship home 2 o'clock. Week B clubs at lunch for today is key clubs. If there are any juniors interested in taking the PSAT on October 13th, please sign up in the counseling office. There are two more spots available. If you are interested in joining the dance team for the winter season, there will be, be a meeting today, Friday, October 8th, in the Commons at 3 o'clock with Coach Anderson. We're having a blood drive on November 3rd from 1 to 6 p.m. in the upper gym through the American Red Cross. Blood is a necessity right now, especially during the COVID-19 pandemic. If you donate, you could be saving up to three lives. Blood donations only take about 30 minutes, and you get to enjoy snacks and beverages post-donation. If you'd like to donate, please sign up at redcrossblood.org and type in 54457 in the box in the upper right-hand corner where it says Find a Drive, and select Nakusa High School and go to the Red Cross website to learn more. Thank you for supporting the Red Cross and NHS Student Council. Please let us know if you have any questions or concerns.